Okay, this is my first game actually playing as Doctor since his rework. So, we're running Distressing. L2 and L1. There's one right there. Son of a bitch. I wanted to actually hit that. Oh well. Oh, there's a hook right there. He's running right there to the back. I don't have the range. I shouldn't have swung at that. He just kind of like stopped there for a second. Mistake. Like, trying to make that cheeky save, but it's not gonna work. Body block would have been better. They're all running for saves, and I'm not sure why. I swung too early. I'll just let him have it. Can't save her while they're busy saving him, so... They have gotten two gens done, though. I don't want to... <laughs> two of them there. Did he... Oh, he's right there. I guess he just wants to, oh no. I thought he was um, going for an unhook. You're just leading me to your teammates. Thanks. I need to hit this gen. You're going the wrong way.
Maybe a D strike. Oh. He thought that was, uh, a pallet. And it was just an illusion. I need to hit this gym after I get him on the hook. He's just getting unhooked and he's dead on hook now. I'm admittedly a little quiet. I'm trying to uh, focus on this one. Did they? I didn't even know this pallet was burnt. They're over there. This is where you die, sir. Unless someone can get to a pallet. That pallet. Nope. Thought maybe someone was pushing me there. Goodbye. Um. They're still back there failing the skill check. I need to go hit that gen again, actually. She's still injured. I don't think I've hit this guy yet, or hooked this guy yet. I don't know if he's trying to fake a vault there or what, but that didn't work out so well. He's on the wrong side, so I can get an uh, easy basement hook. They're over there. I need to hit that gen. Oh, that's completely regressed. All right, let's go after her then. I need to hit this gen. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Uh, there's a nearby hook. So, there's right there, and scratch marks right here. They ran to my right. I'm just trying to make sure I get enough gen hits. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> they both back here? He's right here to the right. That's fine. Probably should have got a hit there. Um, I rushed it a little too much. I think I get a hit on him here. Nope. Well played. He didn't really do anything special. He just held down W. Nah, he gave me a hit there. Hook spent. Yeah. My bad. Uh, There's a misplay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Hat should be in. I wish I would have saved my static blast. Could be back there in that corner. I'm gonna check this area. If it's back in that corner, he's probably already got it. Um, overall, I... Yeah, he's... Right where I hooked him, too. If I had stuck around, I would have seen it. Oh, well. Is what it is. Nothing you can do about it. Yeah, got my daily done. Got my tome done. Uh, I still actually need to do another tome challenge for Doctor, but that should be pretty easy considering I just did that ritual, which is like double what I need to do for my tome. That's because the one escaped. It would have been a double pip if I had actually gotten the other one, but it is what it is. 90... That's a hunt. I got, I got 99. So, I basically missed double pipping by a single percent. And I don't remember being in proximity to a hook survivor for that long. <sighs> is what it is. And they're all red ranks. So I more or less handled red ranks as doctor. And some of them I actually... Um, my score though. Some of them I actually made look like they weren't even red ranks. I, I like the changes. I maxed out my deviousness and my hunter. Um... Obviously, I wouldn't expect Sacrifice to be maxed out. If I had actually gotten the last guy, it would have been. Um, actually, if I... If I would ran into the last guy and got hits on him, I think I would have been really close to a perfect game. I think I would have gotten, like... I think I would have maxed out. I don't remember how much you actually get for a hit. I don't really pay attention to those things anymore. But... Um, probably as close to a perfect scoring game as you're going to get without actually getting it because uh, that last chase would have probably uh, maxed me out in my other two categories um there was a D strike but I there wasn't really a whole lot of tunneling involved I don't believe 
Um, the Yui didn't heal. Which I believe this was the Yui. This would have had to have been the Yui, I think. Because she's got two of her perks. Um, the flashlight wasn't really a big factor either. Um, so I don't even know why they bothered bringing it in. It's, it is, it's just is what it is. Um, eh, pretty solid game. Got no complaints. Uh, I think his changes are actually for the better. Uh, I didn't like the, um, automatically screaming when in his terror radius. Um, because it's pretty much a one-off. Uh, so tracking wise, it's not really, it's, it's a good tracking tool once. And if you have three people in your terror radius at one time, uh, and you can only chase one person, it kind of defeats the purpose of it actually helping with tracking. Um, so I think the static blast is actually a nice addition. Um, plus uh, to counter that the old, uh, style, uh, if you knew someone was getting in a chase, you just basically ran into his terror radius and, you know, <laughs> you, you tier, you tier up to tier one and that would be it. And depending on how you played it, I've had, I had some games where I versed a doctor and I didn't have to go anything above tier one. Uh, some games I actually went over half of the game without even being in his terror radius and tearing up, um, which actually works against you. I don't recommend doing that, but, I mean, that's the old style, so it doesn't really apply anymore, but, yeah, I did that a couple times and just didn't work out for me. It's a good way to get found late in the game and get yourself killed. Um, there really wasn't, oh, there was another D-Strike. I, um, it'd be nice if they alphabetized these in the order in which they are. Or, um, arrange them in, I don't know, a certain way that you could actually, um, notice, like, perks. So, like, if this is a D-Strike and this is a D-Strike, it'd be nice if they were, like, in the same column together or, or something. Um, because sometimes it's hard to spot them and oftentimes when I'm doing these, like, recaps, I'll say that there were three D-Strikes and then I come back and rewatch it and there's four. Or I'll see like two dead hearts, but then um, because of the rarity, there's only there's like uh, one more or something. Um, just a small critique, but uh, if they haven't changed it now, they probably never will.